Hi there, it's Laurel Papworth here. Thank you for joining me. I had a question on the webinar with Telstra Virtual Events about how to set up a social media monitoring dashboard. So I'm going to show you two of them, NetVibes and Feedly. In fact, three if you count that Feedly feeds into Sprout Social. So let's have a look. NetVibes, sign up, use the free version. Once you've signed up and you've set it up, this is what mine looks like. This is public. You can go to netvibes.com slash lpapworth and you'll see this. I've got a traditional media tab and on here, this is just traditional media talking about social media, which is my industry, but you could have your industry. Mashable, New York Times, Huffington Post, Google News, The Australian, Huffington Post again, Time. How do we add a newspaper to our traditional media area. Well, I'd go to theguardian.com, social media, um, tag or section or category. Copy that link. Come back here. Sometimes I look for the RSS feed, but in this case, I'm just going to use the link. I say new, RSS feed or website. Click add, paste. When I hit return, it's going to run off and try and find an RSS feed. So. Ticklet's tummy. I'm just going to change that to images. And let's say magazine layout. Done. That's what it's going to look like. I'm going to add it to the traditional media tab. Add to your dashboard. Let's close that now. And there is the social media section of the Guardian coming through. So now I've always got articles about social media that I can share on my Facebook page to my students who are studying social media with me. It allows me to find great content quickly and easily. I have a tab here also for social media companies. So Twitter's news, Facebook's news, um, Facebook has a few newsrooms, WordPress, Tumblr, Meet Edgar, Hootsuite. You can see that LinkedIn and Clout, their feeds aren't working, so they miss out on the love. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? We have a government one where I bring in all the feeds from government and so on. I've got a hashtag search page as well where I can save some searches and retweet from in here and so on. An alternative to NetVibes is one called Feedly. Go to Feedly, uh, click login or get started for free. I think it is a few dollars a month, whereas NetVibes is free unless you upgrade. But once you've signed up and signed in, oh, I think Feedly is free actually. They change all the time, so just check it out. And instead of the tabs across the top, I've imported everything and it's now tabs down the side. So when I go to social media companies, which was the same as this tab, it's a different service though, I can see the news that's coming in. So Pinterest ads, um, how to connect with your customers using found content, Snapchat memories for business use, that sort of stuff. One of the reasons I like Feedly is I integrate it into Sprout Social. Now this one you do have to pay for, but you do get a free trial just to try it out. And then I add the Feedly app to Sprout Social. So I have a button here called Feeds. Now Sprout Social gives me all my analytics across all my platforms. But when I click on feeds, and this time, those menus, which were at the top on here, and on the left-hand side here, <laughs> and now down the right-hand side. So I can see here, there's one called Social Media Co. And Pinterest adds how to connect with your customers using found content, using Snapchat memories for business. But because it's in Sprout Social, not Feedly, when I click on it, um, Pinterest ads for complete guide for business, I can click share. And it will ask me, what sites do you want to share it to? Do you want to share it to Google Plus, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever, Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, pages. Um, I type something in and then I can put it in a queue to go out or I can schedule it to go out. And if you were to sit here, find some great content, read the content, make sure you understand it, put up some interesting points, you agree, disagree, whatever, 
and then schedule them all to send out, you'll find it a much quicker, easier and simpler way to build your brand, thought leadership, uh, usefulness to your customers, whatever your goal is, um, by using these kind of tools. If you want more, I do have courses on building social media monitoring dashboards that take you through step by step and what to click and all that sort of stuff. But I think for a few of you that are eager to just get started and start playing, NetVibes, Feedly, Sprout Social and probably Buffer app as well. Have a look at them and uh, let me know what you think. Thank you.